eighty twenty. All right, so this one should be point two five minus so point two zero. Save our file. And we can blend with a very minor influence that next row of segments down uh, where my mouse cursor is right now so that it's not such a hard fall off of when the, when the lips are moving. It's having a hard cut right here, which is fine. There's only subtle movement in real life on that area when you start moving your mouth, unless you're doing something like, oh, then it's really going to move a lot. Um, so if we scrub through, see it's the mouth is, the lips are blending really well. Let's save our file again. Let's look at the upper. So we're on what frame? 15. Let's go back to our outliner and we're gonna be looking at upper right. We're gonna set some keys on here. And then right corner, upper right corner. And we're gonna do left corner. It's looking pretty smooth. Um, again, this is just so we can get our topology to be smooth. This is not a, a pose for a phoneme or nothing like that. We will go over those uh, in another video though. So let's select our character mesh again. Turn outliner off, go back to vertex mode. Again, with this one, it's the only one that has the C. So we need to blend in um, these next corners of the lips. And make sure you get the one on the underside too. There you go. And so this is the upper R. We're going to want to blend this to the upper C at a 50%. This next one can be the next one over, which is 0.25, actually. To the C, so 0.25. All right. And then these next ones, we want to blend. That's upper R. We want to blend these with the corner. So let's blend this with the corner of the lower. Lower right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's on the upper R. Now we want to do the right corner. So we'll do upper right corner and we'll do a 0.25, 0.1. Point two, point two. We still got this next row. It's a, it's not that much influence, but it is right corner. So we want to do right now. It's upper and lower. So we want to do just upper R, and we're gonna do this as a point two five, point one. Okay, let's do the other side. That one's 50 50. All right, 
Let's put that one to the center, upper C. And we'll do that one at a 50-50. The next one was 2.25 for the upper C. Two five upper C Duke. Okay. Next row over. This one is going to be R. One two one two one here. So let's take that one. That one was a 0.25, uh, not to the C. Let's do zero. This was to left. It should have been to the left corner. So we'll do a 0.25. Save my file. Let's make sure it's consistent. Ooh, it's a point R are point eight and a point two. Yeah. It's a point eight and a point two. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. R L. All right, the corner has the point two. The corner has a point two. Next, let's pull one more over. Uh, so this one's the upper, lower, and right. Okay, so. That's this one. And this one's going to go to L, upper L. And that's a point. Didn't even see what it was. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, a point one. So we'll do point one. All right. Save your file. Here's the thing, this can change. As we start working on our phoneme set and we start working on posing out the face, you're going to want to update these lips. Right now, I'm just trying to get into a general uh, waiting location so the influences actually work appropriately and those joints get tagged once we get it into the engine or once we get it um, to where we can manipulate it as our rig when we add our rig to the scene. So let's try one more thing. Uh, we should get the tongue. We should get the tongue set up too. You can open the mouth. Move the lips around. Let's add the tongue. All right, so we should have tongue joints. We're going to split this up to a few different. Uh, go to our wireframe. It'd be easiest way to see the tongue. Not the best way to select it, but it's the easiest way to see it. So we should have some joint tongue. There we go. Joint one. I think I started from back to front. Joint one, two, three. Let's open up our outliner, and see where these joints fall. Let's 
So let's find our tongue joints over here. One, all right, that's in the back. Two, three, all right, it's in the back of the jaw. Vertex mode. Go down to tongue one. Where's it at? Let's see. Tongue one, tongue one, tongue one. There we go. Tongue one. And we only want to add Let's select this row of birds. We want to add just these last two rows. All right, there's one. Okay, it doesn't operate the same way. What we're going to do is we're going to grow or uh, expand rather. So shift period. We just wanted to go up one more. I'm just going to add all these to the tongue, tongue of one with an influence of one. All right, that's better. Uh, let's see if I can get this to select again. Nope. So we got to manually select this. That's fine. Let's see. We're just going around selecting and getting this tongue, some vertices on it. So when we get this export, this updated export in, we don't have to worry about it. All right, we're gonna grow this up one. And we have to deselect the ones in the back. And then let's see where tongue, let's see where tongue two falls. Tongue two falls more up, 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 up the chain. All right, so let's deselect these. Again, I'm still just deselecting. These birds. Oops, undo. I accidentally selected all of them. All right. So these are to the jaw. So we're going to want these to our our middle tongue. So we'll do tongue two and we'll do one. And so we have to blend in between this. So we'll make these We'll make these a 0.5 to mix between tongue one and tongue two and get the head joint out of there for these. There we go, that's better. Let's hide this, we don't need that open. We just hit the outliner really want to just to be able to select these keys well, not keys but vertices 